Hey beautiful people, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for coming back. So it's part two time. It is time for part two and this is the one that everybody always is asking about. Vendors, how do I find my vendor? Where did you get your vendor? Can I buy your vendor? Vendor, 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 vendor. So we about to get into the vendor talk, okay? That's that's this. This that's gonna be this video. Vendors. Vendors, vendors, vendors. Cause baby, I got that info for you. So I want to start off by saying finding your vendor is going to be trial and error. Some people do get lucky and find that vendor, that vendor on the first try. I've gotten lucky. I have in different things. Cause you know, my, my boutique, I offer, um, clothing, lashes and accessories. So not going to cap. I don't you know. I don't, I don't found that one quite a few times for different things, but it's not always like that. Cause I've definitely ran into some trash ass vendors, trash. Which leads into my next thing. Y'all, get samples first. Please get samples first. Do not just go based off the picture that you see. Oh yeah, those are it. Those are the lashes. That's the outfit. Those are the shoes. Whatever the case, whatever you're looking for a vendor for, it can be, it doesn't have to be like boutique vendor. It can be, let's say, trying to think of something like let's say you need a little swag bags a little bags with a string just because you say oh yeah that's it yep let me order from them don't do that don't do that get a sample every single vendor offers a sample every single one you just gotta look you, you either have to look for them saying sample is this price with shipping da 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 or you have to message them and ask them for a sample of that product. Please sample. And this goes for even if you, for the weave, get you a sample. Get you a sample bundle. I ain't saying get the sample bundles because you don't need bundles to know if the hair is good. You need one bundle. or do you one bundle to see if it is good. Um. So yes, get your samples. Sample at least two to three vendors. I know y'all been on pause. Back this up. <laughs> Back it up. I didn't even tell y'all where you can find your vendors if you don't know. So we gonna pause really quick because I definitely just jumped the gun. So a lot of vendors, if you're in the US, there are us vendors there are will the price be a little bit more probably so probably so I, and i say probably because if you've already taken a look or have ordered from overseas either from alibaba or aliexpress dh gate you know any of those overseas platforms for wholesale then you know that yes you may get the item cheaper but baby 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 oh when i tell you about that motherfucking shipping hmm hmm <laughs> that shipping is something different okay so if you do the math you might be coming out at the same price, maybe cheaper, maybe a little bit more depending on the product. So you can find you a wholesale vendor. I would just say, do your research, do your research, do your math and see, okay, does this US vendor benefit me or does this overseas vendor benefit me? Okay, so again, Alibaba.com, AliExpress.com, DH gate. I've used DH gate one time. I sampled some lashes from them. I don't believe I went with the vendor. I'm not going to say they don't have good vendors, but I think I just found what I was. No, not I think. 
I found what I was looking for elsewhere. So I just stuck with what I found. Um, so yeah. Sample two to three vendors. Um, when you when you do sample orders, shipping usually isn't that bad. I want to say it's maybe around what you pay for regular shipping when you order something like in the U.S. Maybe like between like the seven ninety nine, fifteen ninety nine ish for a sample. Oh, I never stopped recording. <laughs> Funny. So you also want to shop around. Don't just go first vendor. Don't don't do that. Please don't do that. Literally shop around. Again, this ties into research. You want to look at their pictures. You want to look at their um assembly line like where they work. You want to see the quality of the building. You want to see all these type of things. If you're fortunate enough, travel overseas and take a look at it in person. If you're not, do your due diligence online and take a look at their facilities because they show that. A lot of people just go on the website and they just see the outfit. They just see the lashes. They just see whatever it is that they're looking for and they oop, add to cart. No, read up on the business. Read the reviews, honey read the reviews and if you see because i've come across it where you can tell that that's the company leaving the review like you could just tell so really read the reviews and try to get a feel for um the type of company you know that they are um message them have conversation with them because remember this is a relationship in the event that this is your vendor they have what you want at the price you want. You know, everything is good. You want to build a relationship with them. Like this ain't just no hit it and quit it type, you know, <laughs> you never know what else they're going to offer down the line and you want to have that good relationship with them. So reach out to them, ask questions. They know the questions are going to come. This is not their first rodeo. They're going to have the answers to your questions. They're going to assist you in any way possible. Why? Because they want your money. So any questions you have, they may have been, you may have asked the same question five times, 17 million different ways. They're going to answer your question. And remember, be nice. Contact them and reach out to them as a business person. Don't be like, hey, so how much is your, your bundles? Hey, what your lash is made of? Don't talk like that. Like conduct yourself as a business woman, as a business man, as a business person. That's how you want to conduct yourself. Trust me, even though they want your money, they will turn your ass down. All money ain't good money, and they know that there are more there's more of where you there's more of that. They don't have to work with every person. So conduct yourself properly. And this is in business in general. Conduct yourself properly. So with certain vendors, you may be able to negotiate. I've negotiated once. Like some of the vendors don't be going, their prices are their prices, but it doesn't hurt to negotiate, you know? So work on those negotiating skills and don't lowball them. Like if they're saying, let's say they're saying lashes are $4.30. Don't be like, how about a dollar and 30? Like clearly you just like, that ain't even half. Like you don't went way below. Now you just being disrespectful. So be within, you know, a good ballpark. If they're saying, oh yeah, okay, each lash is $4.30. Can we do $4? 30 cents savings per lash is a lot of money. Like, so again, they may not all be open for negotiation, but it doesn't hurt to ask. It doesn't hurt to try. Nothing beats a fail, but try. <laughs> so next thing, you may be confused on how you communicate with your vendors. I'm in the US and they're in China. How do I call, like, how do we do this? So you're going to communicate with them via WhatsApp. 
99.8% of vendors overseas. It don't even have to be just China. It can be in Europe. They can be in Africa, Look, wherever, wherever, overseas. They have access to WhatsApp and everyone pretty much has a WhatsApp number because that's the most effective way to communicate. Email ain't gonna cut it. I mean, it can. Email ain't bad, but I feel like the WhatsApp is just, it's just better. Um, And literally, it's just an app. You go on your Google Play Store, your Apple Store, download WhatsApp. I believe they even have, well, if you have a MacBook, you can download it on your MacBook, a little app there. Download the app. You utilize your phone number and it just does whatever configurations in the background that allows you to communicate with that person overseas for free. Literally for free. Now, you have to keep in mind the time difference. What I do is wherever my vendors are located, I add their time into my phone. So, okay, if I'm up at nine o'clock at night working, I'm like, okay, let me see what time it is. Oh, okay, they're, you know, they're, I think they're, I think they're a day ahead. However, however it is, usually when we're asleep, they're awake. So, um, you know, it's always good to just have their times in your phone. So you can just be like, okay, is this time? Okay, they should be up. If I send a text right now, you know, I should get a response. So put their time zones in your phone, download WhatsApp, and be patient. Like, they're people too. They sleep too. They have lives too. You can't just think, oh, well, my vendor, my vendor, my vendor, my vendor. You should respond to me in a timely manner. You should this, you should that. Yes, it should be in a timely man manner. I'm not going to say it shouldn't. But understand what a timely manner is when there's a time gap. Got me? Okay, so some things that I want you guys to remember is when reaching out to the vendors, don't treat it so transactional. Like, build that relationship. I said this earlier, but I really want this to stick and I really want this to be something that you guys do. Build that relationship. When you build that relationship, you'll see that it becomes so beneficial to you later on where, you know, they'll remember, oh, you know, so-and-so introduced herself so politely and she was so um, nice when she was communicating with me and understanding and, you know, asked how my day was going. Let me show her this catalog of new clothes first. You know, that type of thing. Um, also, when introducing it, like when you initially contact them, introduce yourself and your business properly. Like how I do. Hi, my name is Monica. I'm the owner of the It Girl Boutique. I'm interested in, you know, XYZ. May I get a catalog? Or um, can you can we set up for me to have some samples? You know, some, something of that caliber. Like, I know what I say, but obviously just trying to say it on camera, you'd be like, Bleh. but, <laughs> you know, introduce yourself formally. You are a business. Represent, represent yourself as such. Um, have your questions ready. You know, I feel like it's best, like if you have your questions written out, send them all the questions in like one, one message. Sometimes I know like you have one question and they answer it and you got, you got another question. I get that. But if for the most part, try to have like all your questions like written out and just send them all your questions so that they can so that they can properly assist you. Because remember, there's already a time gap. So the time that you do have to communicate to communicate with them, you want to try to get as much information as possible because at, as much as possible, because at the end of the day, you're running a business. Like, yes, you have to be patient, but do you really have two weeks to wait to get all the questions to you, or all the answers to your questions? Probably not. So I would ask all the questions that you have, you know, initially, once y'all have that conversation going and learn your person. Like they introduce themselves, you know, oh, hey, my name is Kim. Oh, hi, Kim. I saved like, okay, Kim, lash vendor. So now when I communicate with her, she's not just, you know, the lash vendor. I was like, good morning, Kim. Hope all is well. You know, I was wondering, you know, when can you get my next shipment of lashes out, blah, blah, blah. Address them as such. You know, address them as who they are. They appreciate that and they notice that. I've had so many times with my lash vendor 
you know where things may have gone wrong on my end on their end maybe something got stuck in customs whatever the case may be when you have that rapport with them they're like oh you know that's monica let me let me call her you know she's a nice girl let me just tell her what's going on with customs and you know we're working to get it resolved hey kim blah blah my vendor's name is not kim just my example <laughs> but you know oh, hey kim what's going on hey monica you know um so lashes are stuck at customs they're saying blah, 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 whatever the case may be when you treat them good they treat you good and i've even had instances where she's like you know this was on our end so what I'm going to do is on your next shipment, I'll add in 20 free pairs of lashes. Literally what she did. Literally what she did. Just to, you know, accommodate me because she knows that I'm expecting lashes at this particular time. But we all get it. Life happens. So, you know, just treat them good. Talk to them nice. And it's really beneficial for the both of you. They getting your money coming in. You got your, your lashes, your product, your whatever coming in. Everybody's good um touched on okay so i touched on the time you also have to remember that there's going to be a language barrier okay there's going to be a language barrier but for the most part they do understand like it's not a huge barrier but just like certain words may mean something different to them or a certain or or word that we may use they may not use in their everyday you know when they do speak english so they're like you know can you what do you mean by that can you just be patient they're in, they're in a different country for crying out loud like how would you feel if you went to their country and you're trying to ask a question and they're like what are you saying like what as what what like you'll be like what the okay so you know just understand that there's a language barrier and if they ask you to clarify just clarify just clarify like that's it um if you don't know when you order ho for sale <laughs> child we're just not ordering whores okay <laughs> not what we doing <laughs> when you order wholesale the more you order the cheaper but but remember, the more you order, the heavier your, your, your boxes, the more your shipping costs. So, yeah, <laughs> have fun with that math. I, 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 I go through this all the time. Like, okay, so I need 20 pairs of this. Okay, and if this costs this, shipping gonna be this. <sighs> Fuck. Like... <laughs> child have fun but those are the fun things of being an entrepreneur and it's a story to tell um again i just mentioned you know building a relationship with your vendor um you also want to create shipping profiles um well, it's not really shipping profiles yes and no if you're offering shipping then you need shipping profiles really I'm so sorry. <laughs> really, you want to create just profiles in general. For USPS, um, FedEx, US... No, I say USPS. What the hell? UPS, USPS, FedEx, DHL, however you ship, however seen, you know, works best. Create profiles. You know, it, it makes it so much easier. I can't tell you how I've had products, packages stuck with FedEx, UPS, whatever. And for them to locate your stuff is so much easier when they can go into your profile and say, oh, okay, I see packages A, B, and C, tracking number, blah, 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 for all three. Okay, da, da, da. Like, it works so much better. When it comes time to shipping, you look... I don't even got no dog. That's their dog. You done? Appreciate it. So having those profiles also helps when it's time for you to ship. Um, some other good programs when it comes to shipping, you like if you now have your, you know, your products or whatever, and you got people that are ordering online, you know, other states, whatever you need to ship. Um, ShipStation, 
ghost shippo uh pirate ship there was another one and i can't think of it but those will do for now and again if you do your research you will find other programs for shipping that just help with your shipping needs so um i also wanted to touch on i'm not gonna say not to do it i mean do what you do not trying to knock nobody's hustle or nothing but buying vendors from people baby just do your research like you just wasted however much they be charging 10 20 30 dollars 40 dollars for a list of vendors that nine times out of ten that person doesn't even use a lot of people just go off of who the person is oh that's moesha i know she's selling she i know them vendors is good why because that's moesha how about moesha just wants a bag and she knows that there's lazy people who don't want to do research so she put this vendor list out with vendors that she never even tried made a bag off you and here you are with shitty vendors because you didn't want to do your research not saying that's the case with everybody there are people out here who are genuinely selling their vendors because their vendors offer a mass majority of things but if you do your research you can literally save that money that you are going to spend on a vendor list and find your vendors like I was given a free vendor list when I was a part of this um, business seminar and she gave it to us for free and I like went through it, looked and I was like, I oh, know, trash. Like I'm good with who, you know, I got appreciate the, you know, the freebie or whatever, but it didn't, no, I don't need it. Like literally just do your research. That's one of the main things in being an entrepreneur, being a business owner do your research on everything even after you watch this video and you got your notes taken down and you know your questions whatever the case do more research watch another person's video that talks about something similar to what i was talking about go on you go on google type in you know the steps to starting a business there's like something in my face sorry y'all the the steps to starting a business see what comes up Keep doing your research until you until you feel like, okay, I get it. I got it. I understand. I'm ready for the next step. Don't just go off of one person. Sometimes we do be dropping hella gems, one person, one video, and you get it all that you need. But it doesn't hurt to hear it from another person, to read it in another book. You know, do your research. Research is literally the best thing ever. You always want to learn. Research don't stop. Learning don't stop. You're forever learning, forever researching, forever looking up, forever trying to understand. It's going to be a forever thing. So please, research. <laughs> like, that's the word of the video. The word of this video is research. Slash, don't be buying them fake ass vendors. <laughs> but I want to thank y'all for watching part two of the Business Bestie series. I really do hope that y'all are enjoying these videos. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop them down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Um, I greatly appreciate you watching the video. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm leaning and stuff. I'm just, <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm really ready to lay down, but I got work to do. So, ain't no laying down. Um, but yes, I really do appreciate you watching my video. Hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Turn on those post notifications so that you know the next time when I post. And y'all will see y'all in the next video.